Craig James joins us for what could be a uh, positive start to the day. Well, it should be a positive start if the US and Europe were anything to go by. There was a degree of optimism on Friday about the potential for a debt selling you know, agreement. And of course, that was subsequently secured over the weekend. So before that you know, sort of occurred, uh, the share price index on the futures exchange pointing to a 70 point rise of our market or around about a percent at the start of trade. The US markets were substantially higher. Dow was up in the order of 1 percent, Nasdaq up in the order of 2.2 percent. Uh, of course, there's a fair bit of you know, water to go under the bridge in terms of the debt ceiling uh, deal. Uh, we need to get yes, the Republicans and also the Democrats on side in the House of Reps and you know, in the Senate. It'll probably go to a vote on, on Wednesday, um, but they can extend that probably you know, as far as out the next, uh, the, the next week, out to June the 5th. So it could still you know, sort of be rattling around you know, sort of over most of this week. The oil prices were higher by around about 1%. Gold was only up a smidgen, 60 cents an ounce, and iron ore down 19 cents a tonne. And we had a gain in some of the base metal prices, copper futures up 2.5%. Aussie dollar, 65.2 US cents. Not a lot of reaction in the Aussie dollar. Went from 65.15 cents up to 65.3, but down to 65.2 cents. The US and the UK financial markets are closed for holidays later tonight. Okay, Craig, thank you.